Christ, Shalom. This is the brother Kaya from the GMS. Well, all is coming back at you with another quick ride and tow. Prior to getting started, as I always do, I like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Kakwadash. Now, by honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to the Akims that's pushing the truth and sincerity. Lord willing, this video be edifying first and foremost to the whole free leg. Then to those that cleave to the body. This lesson today, I want to get into a lesson which I want to entitle Elevation Takes Effort. Elevation requires effort. Okay? Because in order to elevate, it's a, uh, it's a process of pretty much rising above the, the usual position. Okay? To lift up. That's where you get the word, you know, elevate or like elevator. Okay? Okay? And you know you get to lift up and you get to, you know, to lighten or raise up, you know? So it takes the weight. You know, like when you're in an elevator, you feel like the movement of your weight to lift it up because a lot of men are, you know, we anchor down our soul with the Lord. You know, which that's it, you know, he's the anchor to our soul, which means that, okay, he's our foundation, but every foundation must be built upon, all right? And as men of the Lord, we are all uh, stones, um, you know, in the house of the Lord, all right? Precious stones. That means we fit the part of the building where we are uh, supposed to be at, all right? And... If anybody knew anything about erecting or construction, which I'm not, you know, I'm not a master builder like that, right? I'm not that great in carpentry, all right? But they understand the only way to erect something is from what? Downward to upward, all right? And our duty of elevating is, is required of us in the ministry, all right? You can't be stagnant, okay? Elevate, you can't be uh, stuck in mud, all right, or uh, 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 glued in a mire, so to say. You know, because sometimes men find themselves in a position where they just they are uh, 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 feeling sorry for themselves, all right. That's a way to sink, that's not a way to rise, you know. Well, oh, I just got so much going on, you know, and you want the Lord to feel sorry for you, man. But uh, we already have godly sorrow. All right. According to that second Corinthians, matter of fact, I had bought this out at camp, and I'm gonna get into that stagnant. I will start with this. All right. So this, this we we don't have we don't have time to be feeling sorry for ourselves. All right. The second Corinthians seven. And ten for godly sorrow working. Repents to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world working death. So, when you sorrow in yourself, all right, you're sobbing in the things in the world. That means you're stagnant in the spirit, all right, because the spirit has a flow to it, okay, that is uh, it's living waters. It don't, it don't get stagnant, all right. You know, that's why we don't gotta force the course of the river because at this point. The water is already flowing, all right? It's a fountain of life, you know? It says 11. It says, For behold, the self same thing that ye sorrowed after a godly sought night. So, you know, when we do sorry and, you know, and, and feel repetitive, you know, of things, Right, it's time to get up on that action and build up on that action. All right, we can't just feel sorry for ourselves and then stay up. You know, the Lord gave us a spirit of movement. All right, we are we are soldiers in motion. All right, we soldiers, but we foot soldiers. We ready to go. All right, and at any time, a soldier gotta take orders and move. All right, it says. 
what carefulness and wrath in you, yea, what clearing of yourselves, yea, what indignation, yea, what fear, yea, what vehement desire. And we have vehement desire in us, all right? That's the zeal that burned in us. Yea, what zeal, yea, what revenge. In all things ye have approved yourselves to be clear in this matter. Now, you know, this pretty much, uh, you know, going to say that, Salaki, I, I bought it. I probably read too far, but Salaki, all right? But the whole goal is we got to elevate, all right? got to pass the stage of being stagnant. Now, I'm going to get some precepts after this and lock it too. On the hell, all right? You got to rise in the ranks, man. All right? Even in your camp, man. You got to want to become a, you know, you're a man on the outside. You got to want to become an officer. You know? And we don't uh, 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 strive for these things, but, you know, we strive for the masters, all right? Of what it takes in the camp, meaning you want to become, have the spirit to want to become whatever it takes in the camp to help forward the ministry, man. Okay? Not the uh, plateau yourself, well, I just won't be the elder. Then you plateau yourself, man, and then you don't, you don't, you don't understand or require you what it takes, man. All right? Effort is diligence. You see that? So effort don't stop once you reach a certain pinnacle. You got to keep going. All right, effort is to push through. It's the pull. It's the push through. All right, that's the effort. Now you can't teach that. All right, so to elevate, no one can elevate you but the Lord. Y'all will why y'all shy, man. All right. Anything ain't moving, don't have life to it. This word give us life, man. All right, we have movement in ourselves. Okay, tell you that in uh, uh, Acts, which is one of my favorite scriptures. In Him we live, move, and have our bed. So we're elevating everything, every breath we take, right? Every step we take. That's a, that's a token of elevation in the Lord because we're not killed. So if we're not killed, then we increase it, man. All right, you got stagnant, you got motionless, standing motionless, right? Sluggish. Inner and active. All right. You got a uh, stagnus. Anything else? All right. Cease to run or float. All right. And again, this this thing of ours has a flow to it. Okay. I haven't got any precepts, but you know, stand in water, and we know to seep deep or sink deep to ooze. Right. It says cease to be brisk or active. No, that's good enough, right? Now, last thing I'm gonna get is effort. And I'm gonna get a few precepts and get out of here, all right? Effort, a laborous attempt. And that's why to elevate, you get stronger the more you are. You work out in the gym, the more you run up the hill, all right? Why you don't run down the hill? Because you can't control your movement. When you elevate and you run up something, you know you ain't. It's crazy, but you're in total control. You feel that strength. You feel that vigor. All right? When you're going down, it just carry you away. All right? To build up, it take more strength to do that. All right? You don't need strength to run down. All right? Your momentum is carrying you away. But when you elevate, you need momentum. You got to have a laborious attempt. It says a strenuous exertion. That's a good one. All right? Okay? To exert yourself is the... Is the uh, Exercise yourself and, you know, pretty much push yourself to the limits, man. All right? Now, do we kill ourselves working for the Lord? No. God, like, let's be serious here, all right? If you kill yourself, you can't work at all, man. <laughs> you know? See if they got more effort. Good, man. Imp impetuously. Strength and power, right? Yeah, that virtue. Now, again, the Lord give us virtue by way of what? The unction to know all things, the wisdom, the knowledge, right? The word help us move forward, all right? It help us progress, right? Now, remember Jake told me before, there's no such thing as regressing. Now, once you examine yourself, you're going to either been a regressed or, or, or progressed, all right? To regress, you're not going to be in the same place you was years ago. That's impossible, all right?
That's impossible to be right here on what today's date, November, November 20th. Let's just say today, November 20th, 2023. And then by November 20th, 2024, you like, I'm in the same place. I ain't really lose or I ain't gain. That's impossible, man. You gonna be in a gain or lost something. That's that's just the way it is, man. All right? So we don't remain the same. There's a Man, you could wax worse. That's why men don't understand when they're, they're in gross darkness. All right? Or when, it, you know, they, they light have illuminated. You're going to understand the movement. Because movement have a feeling to it, man. All right? And effort, again, a strenuous exertion, a laborious attempt. Hate not laborious works. All right? Let me get this. Let me get a couple precepts. All right? This is a... Uh, I know, you know, I'm going in it is what it is, right? Let's see what we got here. Well, it don't really be that long, but if it is going to be that long, I'm in traffic anyways. Okay. And the fruit, in order to get fruit, you know, from the Lord, we got to have fruit from within. Anything that increases, it comes from within, all right? Is in your spirit. The Lord is increasing your spirit. All right. This is John 15. And now uh, I, uh, I have nine. I read nine. As the Father had loved me, this read letters. So have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. And that love of, 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 of Yahweh Shai. All right. Is to suck with you and to develop you, man. All right. Into one of his. Uh, one of the plants, one of his plants, all right, in the body, one of, you know, to be an olive, you know, one of his olive trees, all right, so he could, you know, structure you to increase, it's everything about Yahweh Shai is increasing, man, it's about increasing, all right, Jake can say level up, right, it says if he keep my commandments, because that's what's love, the fulfilling of the law, you shall abide in my love, it says, even as I have kept my father's commandment abide in his love. It's a logic. I'm supposed to read eight. It's a logic for that, brothers. I'm gonna read seven. Oh, my bad. I read nine and ten. But hey, that was that was great anyways. It is that was the spirit, all right? It says, uh, if you abide in me. And my words abide in you. Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. And a lot of men have not, or have increased not, because they ask not. And then, you know, again, we increasing or we decreasing. That's that's pretty much the moral of the story of the truth, man. All right? That's why the Lord put a, 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 put a, 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 a wave of, of pretty much we have to constantly examine ourselves right because there's a there's always a, a token if you what you're increasing or you're decreasing right you gaining or you're losing like now let's not get the gaining and the losing you know between you got to lose over here and gain like, that's not what i'm talking about here all right so you have to understand you know where i'm at with it it says herein is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit so shall ye be my disciples. So to bear fruit is to what? Is to become plenteous, right? Get more, gain more. Alright? But the fruit gotta be what? Rooted with that. Right? The fruit gotta be rooted with that. This is uh when we use the metaphor of fruit, because you know that's a that's a token of increasing. Right, this is uh Colossians. What? Yeah, I don't want it. I said it's over, right? For me. I'm gonna start at eight. I'm gonna start at seven. Oh man, I gotta start at six, man. It's not it says, "Which is come 
dog, man. I start at five. Oh, man. Come on, man. It says, For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, where have ye heard before the word of the truth of the gospel, which is come unto you as it is in all the world, and bring it forth fruit. See, this word bring it forth fruit. And we have the word, man. It dwells within us, right? It's in our temples. Okay? It's in a hidden part of our temples, man. And let your temple run. You know, like the game. Hey, your spirit got to run, man. It says... Because once this thing hits your spirit, men run that read it. But it got to hit your spirit. It got to work, work it uh, in, inwardly of you. To produce outwardly. It says, and bring it forth fruit as it also in you since the day you heard of it and knew the grace of God and truth. So since we knew this word, it brought forth fruit in us, man. And we look to bring forth fruit that it may remain, which is a token of our increase or your increase. All right? The way that we help in the ministry, man. Okay? You got to have a spirit of, 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 of wanting to, uh, you know, progress forward. Some men are comfortable. Nothing grows in a comfort zone. You know, Jake should know that. It says, Ye also learn the evaporous our dear fellow servant who is your faithful minister of the Mashiach Yahushai. Okay, as brothers are, are, are you know, amongst you. Gaining fruit, winning souls with you, man. We're helping each other win souls, brothers. Who also declared unto us your love and the spirit. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will and in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, which you need all those mechanisms, all right, to produce. I mean, again, the truth is about productivity, man. Okay, let's make sure that, you know, that it's in our vicinity, all right? It's dwelling within the houses we are in. Okay, these different churches, these different states. It says that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, man. Strengthen with all might, going to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Okay? So we might word the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful. Alright? So anything I want to ask. It's out that to do as we working for the Lord. It gotta be in a manner of what bearing fruit, man. That's just the way it is. All right, that's just the way it is. You know, things will never be the same. And you're right. Things ain't gonna never be the same. Every day we wake up for the Lord, brother. Like you know, there's more. There's always more when it's coming with the Lord, man. All right, the Lord taking away. He giving it and he, he taking it away. Right? They got to be a damn fool if he thinking anything remaining the same, man. This is uh, Titus 3 and 14. It says, And let ours also learn to maintain good works for necessary uses that they, that they be not unfruitful. All right, there's a necessity to uh, uh, plant those seeds. All right, that the elect may be fruitful. Okay, because all the fruit gonna do is have a what? A plenty of seed. If it's a right fruit, if it's a right fruit, if it's a righteous seed, man, it's gonna sprout. It's gonna do it. It's gonna have its due diligence. All right, because it's gonna go through all the phases it need to go through to be that. That to have that production they need to have, man. Read that again, Titus 3 and 14. And let ours also learn to maintain good works for necessary uses that they be not unfruitful. You see that? You know? And the way to be fruitful, you know, you gotta you gotta get watered. The Lord gotta be working within your spirit, you know. Because you're a seed. We are seeds unto the Lord. You know, technically. If it be so, this is our second address. Eight. And six. And it reads, O Lord, if thou suffer not thy servant, that we may pray before thee, and that 
this body. And that, and, and thou give us seed unto our heart, right? So the plant into our heart, right? And culture to our understanding. So as the Lord sprinkled us with water, all right, he, he increased our understanding, all right, that we may increase and level up in the word of the Lord, man. You know, you see that? And that there come fruit of it. You see that there come fruit of it. How shall each man live that is corrupt who buried the place of a man? So you can't even live, all right? If it's corrupting your temple, you can't produce nothing, man. No matter how hard you water or call yourself watering, the Lord got to give the increase. Remember that, right? The Lord uses us as plants and seeds, but the increase come of the Lord. So still we can't increase unless the Lord give it to us, all right? Or allow us to, all right? Respectfully. That got to be our approach. And, and to all things, bro. This is our second Exodus 9. We start at 30. It says, And thou spake and say, Hear me, O Israel, and mark my words, thou seed of Jacob. Right? That seed again. For behold, I sow my law in you. And it shall bring fruit in you. So those that uh, rehearse in a, in a law, right? The, the high holy days, okay? Uh, not omitting the weighty matters of the law, mercy, judgment, right? Exhortation, all these things are of the law, man. Read the Bible. And you'll see that the law go beyond those Ten Commandments, man. All right? Do we keep them all? No. All right? But there are weightier matters that we got to know and we got to provide and do, man. Right? Brotherly, you know, the, the, the brotherly love laws, right? It's laws, man, on top of brothers and sisters. You see that? It says, For behold, I sow a law in you, and it shall bring fruit in you. Okay? And ye shall be honored in it forever. All right? It says, But our fathers, which received the law, and kept it not, and observed not the ordinance, and, and though the fruit of thy law, did not perish, neither could it, for it was thine. All right? Because, hey, again, the, the law has always had strength to it. Okay? And the seed, if it be planted in the right, uh, in the right ground, it, it's going to nourish, man. That's the, that's the production of, of, of a seed, to nourish. Okay? That's why they got the parable of the seeds. You see that? It says, yet they that received it perished because they kept not the thing that was sown in them. So, you know, as the law, and that's why when the Lord put the law and plant the law, statute, and commandments in our hearts forever, we're not going to go off, man. Right? Okay? A new covenant, man. The real new covenant. I don't know. You know, it doesn't need to end all done. It says, and lo, it is a custom when the ground have received seed, seed, or the sea in a ship, or any vessel, meat or drink that bear perish wherein it was sown or cast in two, that the thing which also sown or cast therein or received, do it perish, doubt perish, and remain it not with us, but with us it had not happened so. For we that have received the law perish by sin, and our heart also which received it. Notwithstanding the law, perishing not, but remaining in its force. All right, yeah, because the law was good. All right, uh, us doing the wickedness of the law made the law weak. It weakened the law. Right? It ain't weakened the law. It weakened us. Right, and that's why we're in a position we're in. You know, but I ain't meant to read that false logic. But it came out. You know, it came out. There's what it is. At this point. Lord, allow me to get it all hell, the hell with me, right? And this is our uh, wisdom of Solomon 3 and uh, 15. For glory is the fruit of good labors, and the root of wisdom shall never fall away. So if we root it with the fear, right, that beginning of wisdom is fear, okay? 
gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, fruit gonna come of it, you know. That's and that's, you know, that's that's simple and plain, right? That's not too hard to believe or know or see, right? We just we gotta let it flourish, all right. We gotta have the faith that we can flourish. You know, a lot of men don't have uh, confidence in themselves, okay? Which confidence is faith. If you really lacking in confidence, man, you gotta pray to the Lord that He build your faith up. Now, I'm not saying you gotta trust in the Lord on His most high, on His most holy faith, man. They, they, the scriptures tell you that, man. All right, you can't do this thing without faith. It's impossible to please the Lord, man. All right, so how can the Lord be pleasing unto you and bring fruit through you? All right, when you don't even believe in the, abund the abundance in which the Lord can level you up, all right, and bring you, you know, do what He do. Okay, that's a level of understanding and respect that that it has to be that right. Our apostles and elders are the, are the cornerstones of fruit, man. All right? They didn't have to go anywhere and plant anything. Because <laughs> the world do all of it, man. You no, know, they didn't have to go to these, you know, these these other countries and all that. I man, you got brothers springing up everywhere, man. You know, I like other people that got to go there and start a camp and put men there and put on purple garments. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. All right? All right? This is our Psalms 92. You know, some basic structures Jake should know, you know. All right. And I'll read 12. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a seed in Lebanon, right? Because, you know, it says, Those that be planted in the house of Yahweh shall flourish in the courts of our power. We've been, we've been planted in the house of the Lord. He have given us his name. All right. We got the benefits. All right, we we believe we believe we we it we believe you believe you got it, man. <laughs> you know, cause hey, at the end of the day, in order to get spiritual powers, brother, you gotta level up. You cannot get that. You cannot remain the same and get it. All right, you can't even get that in the same body. Your body gotta be changed, man. All right. So if you can believe you're gonna get spiritual powers, man, you gotta believe you can level up. Right. We in a day anyway that you know a man fate. A man, you gonna go as far as your faith take you, and what I mean by that is, uh, Yahweh Shai is the author and finish our faith, so he know how great our faith is. All right, and we gotta be on our most most holy faith. I gotta get that. It says they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. Now look at our apostles and elders; they were considered to be old age because you got men that's younger in age. All right, for us, you, but the elders are in the strength of their youth, man, because they got this full troop, all this coin, all right, and they giving it out. Okay, they liberally watering it. All right, it says, see that, um, water it shall be watered also, man. You see that? And they have bought fruit in their old age, because old, hey, oh, uh, 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 gray hair is not the old age of, uh, uh, to a man, but this is what? Wisdom and knowledge, man. You see that? Because they wise and strong and strength. Because what? They're getting more and more of the truth, man. You see that? They shall bring forth fruit in old age. And you can you can see that, man. That's yeah, you know that's the shit, that's the that's the theme of, of, of great millstone. You know, starting with our apostles and elders and down to the elders and younger brothers, man. You know? We all come off that one tree, right? And that branch. Bear Yahweh Shai, man. We, you know, we are we are that tree, that root, that root bear Yahweh Shai, man. We are the branches, man. Right as as in Romans, it says, They shall bring forth fruit in old age, they shall be fat and flourishing. Now, who could this be? Right? Who does sound like this could be? <laughs> if you're in the spirit, you know, we know. Okay. 
to show that Yahweh is upright. And something that is upright, it was erected. It was on a great foundation. It built up right, man. Still built to this day, man. You see that? You see something? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. All right. Okay. All right. This is our Psalm 72 and 16, right? It says, There shall be a handful of corn and the earth upon the top of the mountains. Now, that handful, right? They got to select the elect. That the Lord is dealing with on the planet Earth, all right? Because a lot of men is, you know, say, Lord, Lord, and the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. They got a handful of corn, all right? And the earth upon the top of the mountains, and the fruit there shall shake like Lebanon. And you see the men. That's the men in the old heads, as I just read in Psalms 92. <laughs> you see? It's shaking like Lebanon. There go Lebanon again, right? Lebanon is at the top of the mountains, the top mountain. And there the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. And who is that city, right? Because here we have no continuing city, but we are building it here, all right? But we seek one to come. And, and the, 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 the men of Jerusalem, all right, the elders and apostles is on that mountain, right? They got that banner on that high mountain, shaking the hand, okay? Okay, you see that? Get this, let me get this. Because I've been mentioning this coin. It's not necessary, one of my favorite scriptures here. It's Proverbs 11. Let's get it in 24, all right? It says, there is that scatter it and yet increase it. And there is that withhold it more than his meat, but it tended to poverty. So, if the Lord gave you this, man, you gotta let it shine. You gotta let the works, men see your works, man. All right? Because the Yahweh shine shine through his vessels. You see that? The way that the Lord shine is through his men. Okay? And we don't mean shine as in, you know, Jake at the club stunting, throwing the money around, getting out the, um, you know, the bands and, the, you know, smoke coming out the ground when he get, you know, when he get uh, out the car and, you know, the camera on his shoes, that's an inside joke. <laughs> the elder brother always say, the Lord put that nigga to death and then get out in the camera and I don't have to buy a shoe with the smoke under the car. Come on, man. This ministry ain't about gimmicks. All right? Put the word out there. Let the coin go. Right? That there may come a uh, fruit of it. You see? It says, uh, can't be in this thing, you know, just tending to poverty. Now, we are poor, yeah, but we're rich in spirit. So, us man, rich in spirit, don't start in the kingdom of heaven. The Lord have started uh, enriching in our spirits here, all right? So, you're starting to see a prelude of the beginning. The kingdom of heaven is within you, all right? It's starting to shine. You can see it, all right? And then this word, all right, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. That city is out now. All right, the teasers is not removing the cone anymore. You can see it right now. It says, the liberal soul shall be made fat. I mean, no waxing fat, right? And he that water it shall be watering also himself. And that's the, you know, the more you water, if you a wellspring of life, you gonna spring life in the other men. The, the more the water recycle itself, man. Huh? All right, the water going into the ends of the earth, it covering everything. All the hills, all the mountains, man. Right? If you can receive that. Okay? This is a... Uh, he that withholded coin, the people shall curse him. So, if you got this coin, you got this understanding and wisdom and knowledge, man. And you in a, in a standstill. You in a rut. Alright? <laughs> you got to pray to the Lord, man. Okay? Shake a leg. Let's go. You got it, man. If you got the thing to increase you, that yet you're not increasing, then hey, you know, you got a demon, man. It says, but blessings shall be upon the head of him that sell it, right? Yeah, let this thing out, scatter it, man. Scatter it. That's the only way it's going to come back. It's going to increase. That's it, All right? As I read, man, there's that scattered it and yet increase, man. And this is what it's been all about, man. Right, the increase. Okay. Get a 
be on your most holy faith. Let me see. I'll probably get that and get out of here. Why not go long? Or what is intended for that? But hey, this is this is it. Okay. Elevation requires effort, man. And you know, effort is unteachable. Alright? The spirit gotta be moving in you for that, man. And that's facts. Alright? That ain't something I'm, I'm just swinging at on this one, you know? Elevation require effort. Okay? And effort is a strenuous attempt. You see that? A strenuous exertion. It's a lot. Alright, this Matthew 3 and 8. Bring forth fruit. Bring fruit forth. Therefore, fruits meet for repentance, man. Alright? That the Lord is able to build on. But when you can repent, right, the Lord give you a, a clean slate or a clean, solid foundation for you to build upon, man. Right? You break forth those fruits. Be for repentance, you'll be all good. Alright? Alright? And our Lord is able of these stones to raise up the children unto Abraham, man. Which you only gave, you know, the, uh, the covenant stuff that we may receive it, man. Right? Our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Okay, those men was, was fruitful, right? And then we pray that as being the children of him, we can, you know, we can keep it. It says that. All right. Gave all the stones to raise up uh, Abraham, Salaki. It says in now 10, also the X is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which break it, not for good fruit, is hewn down and cast into the fire. So, again, man, you know, get on your, get on your prayers, get on, you know, your high horse, whatever you need to get on, you know, to pray to the Lord to give you that horsepower, all right, to push, and, uh, you know, dig, 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 put your uh, stance or your feet in the dirt, man, so you can, you know, you can kick it up, all right, and start to build in it, man, you know. We don't have all day, okay? You know, we don't we don't have forever to level up. All right, let me see if I can get this. Get out of here. All right, and here we go. Jude one and twenty. But ye be loved. All right, the beloved is the elect. Building you up yourselves on your most holy faith. That's how you gonna increase. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Right, of the Holy Spirit, the Rakakodash. Okay? Keeping yourselves in the love of our power, looking for the mercy of our Lord, Yahweh Shai unto eternal life. And you got to do that by way of, uh, even though you decrease and Yahweh Shai increase, you know, that's, it's the, uh, the standard for elevating that the Lord require of, the, of his men, or uh, those trees that's planted in the Lord, man. Okay? That's how you come up making a difference. Right now, you know, that difference gonna be made through the spirit of Yahweh, why Yahweh shine, but you gotta believe the difference can be made in you and in us, which makes up the uh the whole free elect or uh, I don't want to we those men. So I will write the Zada was that a fine match next time I see Shalom.